I just wanted to talk about real quick Bayo SDI stuff because of course that's what people are talking about nowadays, right? Is Bayo SDI. So I was just testing it on a bunch of characters and I'm gonna go with Pikachu first, right? In terms of how you can SDI Witch Twist or how you can practice SDI because that's actually very important, right? You can't just, even if you know the theory of how to SDI, you won't necessarily be able to SDI immediately because it's hard. So I will always advocate for these training mode mods because now, in the new update, you can mash, whoops, you can mash attacks and specials at a hit stun. So, how did I do this with Oh yeah. So I met DI in because down throw will send them above, that's just Pikachu stuff. And then they're mashing up B. So the main way I SDI is SDI up and down. So I'm gonna do up, three. Pretty much get out of the move or it can't consistently. Again, I'm kind of tired, because I've been doing this for about 15 minutes prior to recording. But you can get out of the move, and you'll notice you get out of the move when you don't get hit by like the last hit, which sends you forward. So that's getting out of the move, right? And then SDI down. Well, I'm getting hit by like weird hitboxes of it. So SDI down typically won't get you out of the move, but it'll be the mix-up, right? Uh, because if they, even if they, whoops, if they react to uh, USDIing up, even if they do that type of thing, they can go like second up B and then do stuff, right? Although if you always if you SDI up and you get out of the move and the Bayo reacts with second up B, like jump up B, you can just SDI up again because if they have to like jump in up B, uh, I mean they can triple jump it, but they might not have a jump, or you just SDI up the second one, in which case they can't follow up again except with maybe like double jump up air and then you're out, right? So. Just whoops, missed my jump. But, so I was wondering uh, in my chat of how easy it is to SDI to the side. And I'm very, very bad at SDIing to the side. And I was able to do it somewhat consistently before. Like that. Like that. Like that. And I'm not very good at SDI to the side. I will pretty much avoid at all costs. Literally the only character that I will actively SDI to the side against prior to this is uh, Meta Knight, because you have to for his uh, ladder combos, right? Oops. So SDI to the side is really, really, really good. At least as small characters. Right? Because obviously the smaller the character, the easier it is to pop out of the move because you're, you're not going to get hit as much, right? So. Let us go to different characters. So Pikachu's small, right? So let's go to a bigger character. Uh, I'm not gonna go like all the way big yet, but I'm gonna go to a relatively big character. Who did I do before? I did Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is a fairly, a fairly thick character, right? So, just because I already did this, so I like I know the percents and everything that it'll work. Uh, let's see, my attack. Go to up B. And by the way, in the description down below, I will put how to set up the mods and stuff. Uh, pretty much what I have in my Twitch chat. Whoops, I forgot I'm on video. So, you can always SDI up as every character. I even, even like when I get to the thicker characters, you can still SDI up. Again, not saying it's necessarily easy, because I think I'm pretty good at SDI. Uh, but you know, if you watch the Rush Hour Smash video, Tweak also does it, which I'm also going to link that down below, because more resources are always better. There we go. That always works. And then obviously you get caught in the crux of the up B, you can always SDI down and mix up what they have to do because if you SDI up and down, they have to do vastly, vastly different things. Uh, so, now I'm gonna try to SDI to the side. And not get hit by single hit, because that doesn't count. So that was to the left. trying to get like through her. There we go. And again, I don't consider myself good at SDI to the side. Maybe I am and I'm lying to myself. I don't actually know. Uh, it's hard to quantify SDI to the side because it's typically not really recognizable in every other instance besides this, but I'm falling out of the move. As like a somewhat big character, that's like a pretty wide character as Bowser Jr. So that's important. I would, uh, just saying, if, I, if you were to SDI either away or into Bane or like through Bayonetta try to SDI like behind her or in front of her I would definitely recommend going behind because if you SDI forward they might still be able to forward air you uh, if they react to it well enough but uh, that's just that's notwithstanding so now let's go to the big boys 
go to the center. Come on, Bowser. There we go. Every character. Yes, is it harder for the big characters? Sure. But also, Bayo is going to have some good matchups across the board because some characters are just easier to combo. Some characters get like fair stringed or whatever, right? This is difficult. Especially because I've been SDIing for like 25 minutes. There we go. Okay, got it. Again, it is harder for the bigger characters to SDI through and away from her, like left and right. You still get it though. Make it more difficult to combo. So. You can always SDI out, up, with every single character in the game, at least based on size. I don't have 100%, I never haven't tested it with every single character, I'm probably going to do Fox later, just to like, check, that doesn't count. Just for a fast faller, but you can always, at least based on size, SDI out. Size is not a determining factor in whether or not you can SDI out via SDIing up. However, it is a limiting factor when trying to SDI the decides, at least in the testing before I started recording. Except now I'm getting it a few times. Again, not super great at SDIing to the side. It is possible. It does make combos extra weird. Like, Bayonetta's have to react to all this. It's very it's actually really difficult. Like if you've ever played as Bayonetta and played against someone that knows how to SDI, you know it is actually insanely difficult to do this. But yeah, so it's inconsistent to get out to the sides. Uh, again, I'm really bad. I'm like, if I'm bad at doing left, right, I'm really bad at doing diagonals. So I cannot honestly test this accurately and give you guys accurate information because I'm like really, really bad at it. Like, I almost not, I'm almost like not SDI, you know. Like, it's, it's really hard for me. But, uh, so... You can always SDI up as every single character. I think I'm gonna try Fox right now just for, like, Fast Faller. Or who's who's the biggest Fast Faller? Dead Days are relevant as a character, so I forgot that he existed. So you can SDI up. No matter what. As every character. You cannot do this. It is your fault. Not Bayonetta's. Yes, doesn't mean you have to practice? Sure. For the people worrying that, but it's gonna destroy my controller. Not really. I've had this controller since Shine and I have had zero issues with it ever. And the only reason I have this controller is because I lost my other one. The other one that I had for about nine months, 10 months, I never suffered any type of consequence because of SDI. It's really, really not that big of a deal. Yes, it, is it annoying that you have to SD, that you have to understand SDI enough when you're playing against Bayos because if you don't, then you're gonna get bodied? Yeah, sure, it sucks. She's the best, right? Like. You can even like almost SDI out to the side, like that's crazy. So. That is just all I wanted to show. So remember guys, get the training mode mod, links down below on how to get it, and then uh, links, or then like everything, like other information will be down below for like learning how to beat this character. Because yes, she is a pain in the ass, and yes, she is the best character, and sometimes if she has rage, you're gonna die. But there is no excuse for people to be dying to Bayonetta combos that are non-witch time combos that like, like when Bayo doesn't have rage, there is no excuse for that, unless it's like the edge fair crap. But like, you should never be getting like, 
up B side B side B up B up air and dying. Like that's not a thing. It's not a thing. And so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.